You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Forgiveness Friday. This is a big one, so follow, follow me down this rabbit hole, I guess, if you will. Let's see, see where we go. Let's see where we end up with it. Fifth commandment. You shall not murder. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor and his body, but help and support him in every physical need. That's fifth commandment. So when we look at this, we always go to like killing people or damaging them, uh, spousal abuse, child abuse, elderly abuse, but I was talking with someone the other day, and they made a point about MMA, mixed martial arts. Can one be a mixed martial artist and at the same time be a Christian? And you, the first thing is, hey, well, there's a bunch of MMA people that are Christians, right? There's a bunch of guys, they, they have like Bible verse tattoos on them. They, they thank Jesus after their fight. Um, they say they go to church and, and things like this. So, yeah, there's a ton of um, athletes that are in this sport that are Christians. But that doesn't answer the question. With this sport, or a sport like boxing as well, or even wrestling to a point, not wrestling like Hulk Hogan, which is real, and the stuff in the Olympics, which is fake. Um, oh, wait, that's reversed. But I'm talking about a sport that you intentionally hurt and harm your neighbor and his body. You knock them out. You try to submit them by getting them to the point to where you break a bone. Now, today it's very organized. They have gloves. There's rounds. But when you look at the first ultimate fighting championships, I'm talking about the Ken Shamrocks, the Hoist Gracie, the um, Dan Severin, these original ones. These guys got in a ring. I remember my dad bought one for pay-per-view one time. They got in a ring, and they demolished each other. No gloves. No, the only, I think the only two things you couldn't do were to the, you know, knee to the groin and then fish hooking, which is when it's, it's not a fun thing. You couldn't do those two things, but everything else was game. I mean, you could sit there and headbutt a guy forever until he's knocked out. So is this something that needs to be forgiven? And if that answer is yes, is it forgiven in Christ? Is it a breaking of the fifth commandment? Well. It is kind of hard to believe that this is a sport where you're using tactics to harm your neighbor as little as possible in order to win the match. I mean, really, I've, I've done martial arts as well. I know, look at me. I mean, I'm amazing, right? I'm like the Steven Seagal of the Missouri Senate. The reality is you do harm this person so you can win. And it's, it's a struggle because society has made it so clean it's made it so safe it's made it that it's a norm and it's even part of our christian church so the better question to say is is it a breaking of the fifth commandment yeah it is in the same way in the same manner as me getting mad at my neighbor and purposely damaging his property or damaging damaging his livelihood um me owning a gun and trying to say, well, if someone breaks my house and I shoot them, it's self-defense. You still killed that person, though. The devil doesn't care if it's self-defense. There's breaking the fifth and there's not. And the reality is when we break it, we have one thing left. It's not to make excuses and try to clean it up. The only way we can be clean is Christ cleaning it up by dying on the cross for it. Did Jesus die on the cross for Conor McGregor, or Ken Shamrock, or Mike Tyson. You know, did he die for Kurt Angle, both the professional and the Olympic wrestler, because he was both, right? Did he die on the cross for them? Yes. That whatever sin they commit is forgiven. That in Christ, he assumed that anger toward the opponent in order to win a victory. It is forgiven. 
that we may then have a heart that doesn't hurt or harm, but helps and supports our neighbor in every physical need. That's our vocation. Not to hurt and harm, but to help in every physical need, just like Christ did, just like Christ does. The Good Samaritan helping the man in the dish, that's Christ for us. That he does that for you and me, and now we do it for our neighbor. So may we take heart that no matter the sin, Christ on the cross made satisfaction for it. So it's not for us to justify the sin, but rather to be justified by Christ who died so that sin may be forgiven. So in short, is MMA a sin? Eh, as I continue thinking about it, discussing it, probably, yes. I'm not going to try to justify it. Did Christ die on the cross for it? Yes, absolutely. That we may all be forgiven because Christ desires to help us in every physical need through this life, that we may have this same body glorified unto eternity. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time.